Yeah. Yeah. No, that's the craziest thing about it all. <laughs> okay, hey. Uh, oops. Um, I was actually in the middle of doing my makeup and I thought to myself, well, I think it would be nice if I sat here, did my makeup, you know, this here's a mirror, it's right here. Uh, sat here, did my makeup and had a chat with you guys. I haven't picked up my camera since today is Tuesday, um, day 256 and, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I haven't <laughs> so, I haven't picked up my camera I think since last week Friday so it's, it's Tuesday today um but yeah a lot has gone down between Friday and today like literally <laughs> the first thing is I managed to get my nails off so that was nice um uh, they're looking okay so these are my real nails but i am definitely definitely gonna cut them and uh, i picked up the kiss press on nails uh those stick on nails i'm definitely gonna use those for now picked up a couple of those um uh, until life gets back to normal what i can't control right now is my brows so the biggest thing that has happened between then and now is my whole entire giza burst one night when I was cooking myself up some, okay, let me do my makeup, okay, let me do my makeup. Uh, when I was cooking up some, you know, pasta, I was having a salmon and parsley pasta, and it's around 20 past six, you know, in the evening, I'm almost done. And I'm, so I'm gonna use this next can't stop, won't stop. For when I'm at home, I typically try not to use my more expensive. I was thinking of using the Urban Decay one, but I'm not really a fan of using my more expensive foundations when I'm just gonna be sitting at home. I really, and I'm just really putting on makeup because it makes me feel. Can you see my hair is growing? My goodness, it makes me feel proper, you know. Um, and yesterday I had a really good day. So what was I saying? Uh, so the geezer burst while I'm cooking and it's just like all I hear is just water from upstairs. I'm just like, what? The? My anxiety went up to a thousand. I already knew what was going on. Um, and I ran up the stairs and luckily the way it's placed, it's placed just, just outside the guest bathroom um, upstairs just outside the guest bathroom in the sort of like the passage. So what I love about this place is that we de everything is tiled. So I don't have any carpets. I don't like carpets uh, because of my sinuses and dust and all of that. Um, I used to have carpets in my bedroom and all of that. I just took them out because they'd make me sneeze quite a lot. And yeah, I just got rid of carpets. So I was so relieved that A, I was home when this happened. I was so relieved that A, that I was home and B, I instantly, as soon as I went upstairs, I took out all uh, my towels, like older towels that I hardly ever use. I took them out from my laundry cupboard, which is right next to where the geezer decided to pop off. And uh, I took all the towels out, the old towels out, and I laid them on the floor so that the water doesn't spread out everywhere and then instantly after that i called my neighbor because i didn't know you know i knew that somewhere by the meter there of the water i didn't know where i was going to close this water so i called my neighbor up and i'm like please and he came and then within five minutes we closed the water so long story short um obviously the geyser needs to be replaced and it will be replaced tomorrow so they were actually supposed to come today and then it turns out that the geezer that they were looking for um they'll only be able to get hold of tomorrow so that's fine so <laughs> it was a really 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 crazy crazy day but you know what i'm still thankful i'm grateful that there is literally very very minimal minimal damage i'm so happy about that because <sighs> honey I, okay 
if I was having to deal with the ceiling again and all, oh, oh chair. Um, after that, I've just you know been home trying to relax. I'm actually really struggling to um, sleep right now. I don't know if you guys are going through that, but wow. I'm struggling to sleep lately. It's crazy. I really am struggling to sleep. Um, it's 9 o'clock in the morning right now, actually. 9.30. Yeah, 20 past 9. And the girl's getting a face on. I have no idea why the hell I'm getting a face on. No, I just felt like wearing makeup. I just felt like wearing makeup today. And I thought, why not? My hair is growing. I'm actually even thinking of leaving my hair to be like a fro, you know? Like, really, at this point, it's, it's the coils, the curls are looking really, really nice. Uh, I had to pick up some new hair products the other day at uh, the Clicks here by me. I'm definitely going to be doing a Diskim and Clicks haul. I did manage to go into Diskim. I remembered that there's a Diskim by me. There's two discams by me. One of them is big, so it's really, really busy. It's really busy. And then there's another one that's just tucked away in, like, one of the neighborhoods by me and whatever. And I remembered it the other day, and I was like, no, man. What are this cam in me? And then I went there, and no line, no queue, nothing. We're just walking in, access to everything. It was really good. And I picked up my uh, apple cider vinegar brags. <laughs> Um, uh, by now, I'm actually dropping the video now where I bought a different kind of apple cider vinegar and I tried it, a nature's choice one. But eventually, since then, since that vlog, um, I picked up the Bragg's one. So I'm really, really happy that I've got the Bragg's one. Ooh, I'm so happy. What else has been going on? Uh, phew, been a wave of emotions lately. <laughs> So I went into the clicks, disc came, I did the things. That's pretty much it, I'm done. And um yeah. I'm burping quite a lot. I wonder. Oh I just had apple cider vinegar. Mm. Yeah, so I'm really thinking of doing like a video that's more along the lines of mental health and weight, you know, during quarantine, like we think about it a lot. We don't talk about it. I know I think about it a lot. And last week, Saturday, when the Giza decided to do its things, that morning was the first morning since lockdown began that I plucked up enough courage to actually stand on the scale. And to my surprise, I had lost one and a half kilograms, but not because I feel like to me, when I, before I got up on that scale, I was really worried about how much weight I'd actually gained. I didn't think about how much I'd lost. I thought about how much, you know, I've possibly gained. This one's nuts about Mary. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Let me see. Yeah. Hello. That's the done face. Looks so much more put together. I like the fact that my hair is now actually coming together. So it's not in that space where it's growing out. It looks untidy or whatever. Now I can actually record with my hair out. I just need to brush it a little bit. But I can record with my hair out. And I, I don't mind that. But the makeup is... We're all right. We are all right, you know. Oh, my skin looks proper. Uh, in my day. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my uniform today, which is my uniform pretty much every single day. My Michele and Um Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing today. I, I, I have this in three colors, I think. <laughs> yeah, I have this in three colors. I've got it in black, in navy, and in white. And I really, really like it, especially for when I'm just like straight chilling, you know, chilling like I am today. Chill. Oh, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, so one of my favorite teas is the Woolies Green Teas. Nah? 
green teas. If you're somebody who drinks green tea, you will note that this green tea is slightly a little bit more stronger and pungent um, tasting as opposed to your normal green teas. Um, if you think the same way and you've got the very same tea, Woolies has another tea that's a green tea as well and this is the organic green tea and much lighter, much more um, nicer and softer on the tongue as well so um, you're more likely to enjoy this one a little bit more. But if you like it strong, definitely that's good. If you want to add a tinge of mint to it, uh, Woolies also sells mint leaves which come in like a tea bag shape as well but it's just literally the mint leaves so they come in a tea bag shape and i normally take one of these when i feel like a strong cup of green and one of these and i put them in one uh packet and oops wrong one and yeah it tastes really really nice it's a strong cup of green with um mint um, so i'm generally an oats lover i love oats uh around breakfast time um but today i feel like Maybe a bit of bacon, maybe a bit of egg, one slice of toast, you know, like the generic breakfast. Uh, maybe some avo, I don't know. I don't know, no, I don't want to make it too much. I feel like I just want egg, bacon, a slice of toast. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. Um, wow, I think I should film here from now on, hey? I kind of like it. All right, so I'm here, I'm in a different portion of the house because I just felt like filming somewhere different uh, and I like the setup. I feel like, you know, where we're gonna chat and stuff, and like, you know, just like, we chat, we chat, we have a, we have a conversation. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a clicks and discam haul are you guys seeing nah you know i don't keep my glasses on this time i'm going to do a little bit of a clicks and discam haul some stuff i got before the second version of lockdown lockdown light before level four and then some things i got yesterday um uh, those are the things that i obviously could buy after level four was announced you know so the first thing i want to show you is how i actually got my artificial nails off and i used this which is the kiss artificial nail remover this is pretty much what it looks like and it's basically got a solution on the inside and you just dip your nail in there and then you wait like five minutes or something then you take it out and then you file it down even further then you put it in again and then you wait maybe two minutes or so you file it's a long process but honestly it's worked so well at getting off my sculpture because i do a sculpture from tammy taylor and if you know you know how thick that thing is so yeah i wanted to show you that first because it was out of the packaging but pretty much everything else is in this 
and gonna yank everything out as we go so also from this came i picked up the kiss uh press on nails artificial nails um i got the slightly longer ones as you can see got those ones that color i am not <laughs> i'm not particularly fond of so i'll probably paint over it somehow or do something but Wow, this one of my neighbors has a parrot and this parrot goes crazy during the day it goes crazy um, And then I picked Hang on you guys probably know by now. I'm not particularly fond of that oval shape. I prefer something a little bit more uh, Square <laughs> Squarish coffinish, you know, that's my kind of vibe. When I was at clicks the other day. I saw this which I feel like my nails need a lot, a lot. My nails need a lot of cuticle love and protection and all of that. So I saw this cuticle balm treatment from Sorbet and it looks like so. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Let me take it out and see. Um, so this one is a balm, which I like. Oh my goodness, it's actually glass. Oh, I like that. Oh, it smells so lovely. It smells like coconut. Which you can rub over your cuticles. I love this. I feel like I've already got an afternoon activity. I love it. <laughs> and because I really don't know how long we are going to be in this nail game for, I picked up the nail polish remover from also from Sobe. I've actually used this one. Um, I've used this one a couple of times and I really, really like it. I think it's a great nail remover. It works very effectively. So, hey. Um, so I picked up three of these, but it was two for three. Three for two. <laughs> it was three for two. And this is the Sorbet Deep Clean Squeaky Clean Liquid Brush and Sponge Cleaner. As you know, you can imagine why I picked this one up for my makeup brushes and for my sponges that I use you know, my real technique sponges and whatever. So I'm really keen on trying this one out. I feel like it'll make um, the cleaning process much easier because you just pour the solution into and then into a container and then you just dip your brush in there. And I feel like that makes things so much quicker. So yeah, can't wait. From Userin, I picked up two products that I've used before. Uh, one of them is the Even Pig Pigment uh, Spot Corrector. Even Pigment Perfector. This is the spot corrector and um, that's because I had two spots, one here and one here last week. They're gone. I haven't even used this thing yet, but they're already gone. But this is fantastic. I even recommended it to a friend of mine who was having a problem with spots. This is pretty much, it's a very tiny little uh, bottle, but it works so well. It works so well. Oh my gosh. And it's got a brush at the very tip. And then you just place it on wherever the spot is just before you go to bed. I do it just before I go to bed. And the next day, voila! And then the next one is an eye cream. I ran out of my <sighs> La Roche-Posay eye cream that I love so much. So I decided to pick up the Hyaluron uh, filler eye cream. And I want to try that out. Eucerin is not cheap, but Eucerin works. If there's one thing I know is that it's really, really good. Um, there's a lot of people who really recommend Eucerin for, for their skin. So this is an eye cream. Ooh. Yeah, pointed knob, red. And it's great because it's the filler range. So it, it uh, restores the appearance of wrinkles, which is great. And sort of pumps up, reduces the volume in the area around your, your eyes. So, yeah. And then I picked up two air immunes. Let me show you. Uh, we are going into the colder season. I'm taking a lot of vitamin C every day, but at the same time, my pharmacist recommended that I also pick up these immune effervescents and take one every other day. Very, very good for keeping the flu and the colds away. So I picked that one, those two up. Lip products, because I'm a mess. <laughs> uh, I picked up these three uh, lip products. These are from Revlon. That's what they look like. Really pretty. I mean, these are my colors. If you know me, you know. <laughs> if you know me, you know. But these are my colors. This is the Revlon High Shine uh, Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. And I cannot wait. I saw these on 
a queen's pleasures instagram page she also has a oh my gosh that's pretty that's that's pretty oh they even smell like ice cream they smell like oh they smell like some ice cream that i used to really like mm, quite impressive so date night definitely my favorite one this one's my favorite one so pretty so pretty look at that okay so for this vlog i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed it um it's so good sitting here it feels so refreshing to have my baby chilling here with me <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next vlog <laughs>